me from what I've done in my career and really think about it because a lot of you are at that stage in your life now where there's a direction you want to go in and I might be able to help you with that just from my 10 minutes, 15 minutes of yarning and having a bit of conversation about my experiences. So, do we have anyone here? How did your goal setting change from when you first started? Or when did you first start setting goals as such? And then like, you know, like in a structured goal? Yeah, okay, cool. So, how did my goal settings change from when I first started to this handsome man standing in front of you today? Uh, so, okay, we're all different. Let's just get one thing straight. We're all different, but we try to emulate ourselves off certain people who are doing good in our lives, whether that's uh, auntie, whether that's an uncle, whether that's a teacher, whether that's mum, whether that's a rugby league player, that's a relative, or somebody doing something really good, and you aspire to be like them. And for me, my goals were... Uh, I guess sort of a, a different in a sense. Like I, I was quite visual. Hands up if you're a visual kind of goal setter up in here. Anybody know what I mean by visual? What's visual, brother? Uh -oh. Anybody want to tell me what visual goals are? Yes. I forgot. Well, that's all right. Oh, I will come back to you, maybe. So, what's the visual goal? Yes. Yeah, visualize or having material or things that put you or give you that opportunity to see where you want to be. So, for me, without confusing you, my visualizing goals were I had professional rugby league players on my wall. I didn't write them down, 